All right. Greetings, fellow planeswalkers of all ages. Welcome to Fatal Draw MTG. Today, I'm sorry it took a little bit to get out a video. It's been a long week, doing a flu, work, and all the normal stuff that goes on throughout the weeks. Y'all know about it. Uh, but today, we're going to be doing something simple. Like I told you on my last vid, I'm building it strictly out of things that I got out of Throne of Eldraine and trying to come up with new deck ideas with just what I got out of Throne of Eldraine out of a bundle pack and a purchase of a box and a couple of packs and the couple of cards I had left over. So, from different sets. <clears throat> today we're going to be doing a standard build though of Burn. And I know that right now is it is the counter burn that that deck's looking really really good but i'm old school i like going back to the basics and mono red burn has always held a special place in my heart because new players can pick up this deck easily run it along with people who've been playing for years they can still have fun with it it irritates the heck out of people when uh they got those big tournament decks that they neck deck and you're able to knock them out with something like this so I'm going to do a real quick vid, try to keep, bear with me, uh, I'm still getting in with my focus and my tripods and all that stuff, but it's basically built around this guy, Torban. Torban is freaking awesome, totally underrated card, uh, he is a legendary creature, he's a four drop, three red, one colorless, if a red source you control would deal damage to an opponent or a permanent uh, opponent controls, it deals that much damage plus two more damage on top of it. So that goes for all of our burn spells, uh, activated abilities from our red cards, even blockers from our red cards and anything else. But we'll get to him later. I'm going to take you through one drop all the way down on how we built this deck. Okay. Oh yeah, by the way, before we start, huge shout out to Ponds. Uh, Thank you for the wonderful snow-covered planes. This is the very first one I've ever owned. I really appreciate you signing it, along with the ley line that you got that I ended up winning. So that's awesome. Uh, I appreciate you doing that, man. Uh, go check out his channel, Ponds Brown. Uh, he's got good content on there as well. Anyways, now let's jump into the deck text. I know that's what y'all here for instead of hearing me mumble along. Uh, my first choice for the one-drop slot. I know it's weird. But it's Ginger Brute. Ginger Brute is just a artifact creature food golem. Oh, this is the shiny one. Let me let me get. Okay, there we go. This is the this is a non full one. It's, it's gonna see a little bit better maybe. It's got haste. It is a one drop of any color. Ginger Brute cannot be blocked this turn except by creatures with haste if you tap one mana. So that's an easy way for us to get in there and get damage through. And trigger our abilities off of our other cards that require damage getting through, uh, such as um, our burn spells. You know, to to get that you get get that one damage in, and then you get cast at a lower price. We'll get to them as well. Also, once it's run at course, you can also just sack it for three mana, and you gain three life. And with the red deck, that's what you need to do. You need to keep your life total up until you can burn the other opponent out. So we're running four copies of him. Set them off to the side. Our next one drop is the Weasel Back Red Cat. He's a Goblin Knight. Knight plays a huge part in this deck as well because we are running Trip Bucket, and Trip Bucket untaps every time that you have a Knight out. So I had to run some Knights in here and fit them in, and this is one of my shows. Yes, Fervent Knight would be a very much a way better choice at this point, but. I'm trying to do this as low budget as possible, and like I said, I only own two favorite knots, so I wanted something that I got a four of. That's what I come up with. It is a one drop. It has basically uh, uh, the fire breathing ability. Uh, it's a pump. Uh, you tap one and one red, and it gets plus two, plus zero into the end turn. It's pretty awesome. You got Thorban out. Basically, he's swinging in for five, so that's cool. We're going to run a full play set of the red cap. So set him off to the side real quick. And try to move us along. Now, for my next night, I had to go with this guy right here. It's a Justin Dummy. <laughs> I know this deck's probably going to look... There, my kiddo's in the background going at it. Uh, Justin Dummy. 
He is a, a two drop for three. Jousting dummy gets plus one, plus zero into the end turn. Holds up our blockers and untaps Archer Bucket. It it allows us to ping some more, especially with uh, Torben on the field. You know that's that's what we're needing. Uh, so yeah, we're running a full four copies of that as well. Get him out the way. Next one, two drop is Rimrock Knight with the uh, boulder rush ability adventure you can cast one red target creature gets plus two plus oh until the end of the turn uh you can also play the regular ability which is also one colorless one red three one it can't block but you get in there with some damage with it as well especially if you pump it so that's awesome it's another knot and it and it untaps archer bucket so we're running full four copies of that one as well <clears throat> Yeah, I'm out the way. Next one up is a car. Probably y'all forgot about. Yeah, y'all had to forget about this card. Electromagnetic field. This card is awesome. It is a two drop zero four defender. Whenever you cast a instant or sorcery spell, it deals one damage to each opponent. Doesn't matter. Whenever you cast a spell, you're going to deal one damage to any opponent. So if you got Torben out, you cast one spell. It's dealing three damage. Just off this one card, and it's and, and, and four damage kind of stands out of the way of the other burn spells that are out there. And if they want to waste a burn spell on this card, that is fine. We're totally okay with that. So we're running a three copies of Electromagnetic Field. And then here we go. This is Trip Bucket right here. One of my favorite cards in the set as well. Uh, Defender with Reach. Now, it's a three drop. Two colors, one red. Sorry for the glare. I'm working with thee. <laughs> Y'all got to bear with me on it. Try to make these videos quick. Uh, but anyways, uh, Brimstone to your bucket. You, you tap it, it deals one damage to each opponent. Whenever nine enters the battlefield, under your control, untap it. So, not only does it have protection for us in the air, which is good, because we do run Planeswalkers in this deck, so we can block aerial assaults coming our way if our walls can't take care of it. Uh... Every time you trip bucket somebody a Torben's out, you're dealing three damage. I mean, that is that can get out of control very, very, very quickly. You can deal 15 damage in one turn, so that's very, very cool. Uh, we're running four copies of trip bucket, and that is actually going to be all of our creatures <clears throat> that we're going to be running in this deck, except for, of course, Torben. Uh, Torben, we're going to be running three of. I wasn't going to go with a four of, but. It being legendary, we do not want it to be stuck in our hand with nothing to do or anything like that. And um, I explained it in the first bit of the video, whenever a red source you control deals damage, it deals that much damage plus two instead. So, I mean, that's awesome. So, we're running three Torments. Now, we're going to move straight into our Planeswalkers. Uh, first Planeswalker is Baby Chandra. Baby Chandra is a three drop. Four drop, my bad. <laughs> The glare caught me off that one. Four drop. Okay. A plus one it doesn't matter to us. We don't have any elementals. But the neg one, it adds two to our mana pool. And the neg two matters as well. If we can protect this card, it basically shocks our opponent every turn. With Torben out, it's dealing four damage every turn. That gets out of hand quick. So they got to eventually deal with this as well. We're going to run one copy of Chandra. Then we got Chandra Fire Artisan. This one's a little bit different. Uh, whenever one or more loyalty counters are removed from Chandra, it deals that much damage to a Planeswalker or, or, or yeah, to, to, to any target you can, your opponent controls. Uh, so, four loyalty for a four drop. It's plus one to exile the top card of your library. You may play it this turn. That helps us funnel through our deck to reach for our burn spells to find our Torben. But the next seven ability is exile the top seven cards of your library and you may, you, you may play them. So if we get to that next seven, it's going to deal seven damage to our opponent and we get to they're gonna to have to deal with this eventually. They they they're not gonna be able to ignore this. So this is a enabling us to set up our other combos as well and they have to deal with this at some point so we are running a copy of her as well 
I was going to run two, but then I thought we needed some more aerial assault. So I got Sarkin in here as well. Legendary Planeswalker. Five drop. Five loyalty. Whenever a creature you control or a Planeswalker you control deals damage. Uh, each dragon you control deals one damage to that creature. So, I mean, you know, we can create a dragon with a plus one ability. And, or neck three ability or we can just plus one it and our planeswalkers become dragons until the end of turn a four four red dragon which is cool that can finish off a game pretty early too so i'm sorry i'm trying to go around make sure things all right so i'm kind of getting in and out of frame but uh anyways so that's our last planeswalker we're going to be running uh, I, you know i thought that would make a good addition to this one uh because yet again, Torben on the field, uh, it does say 4-4 four, four Red Dragon, so that plays a big part in it. Now, for our for all of our instant sorceries, our one drops, we're running two shocks. Y'all know what that does, it's just a one drop, deals two damage to any target. Uh, Torben on the field, four damage, so we're running two copies of that. Help us funnel through our deck, thrill of possibility. Uh, in addition to cast a spell, it's a two drop. Discard a card and you draw two cards. With electromagnetic field on the field, you're dealing one damage, you're drawing two cards. Good way to filter through the deck, so we're running two of them as well. And then here's why I'm talking about the spectacle cost. This is why I'm running, uh, I want to start off with Ginger Brute. We get that damage through, we can cast the spectacle cost of this card, and spectacle cost on this card is just one. Let me get this. Good gosh. I'm sorry, people. I'll do better next time. But it's deal with three damage to any target. Or you can pay the regular cost, three drop, and it deals damage to any target. But if a, an opponent is dealt damage this turn, you can cast it for that spectacle cost. So you deal one damage with your ginger brute, and then you fire this off, you can fire five damage straight to the face of your opponent, which is wicked. Okay. So we're running a full three, four copies of that. Next one up is Slaying Fire. I like this card. Uh, it's a three drop. It deals three damage to any target, but Adamant, which is obvious in this deck, so we're only running red. If at least three red is meant to cast it, it deals four damage instead. So you take that with Torben on the field. It does masses and masses and massive amounts of damage, and it gets ugly quick. For you newer players, uh, I'm also running uh, two of them as well. And then um, last one is Light Up the Stage. Now the Spectacle Cost, uh, three drop. If you deal damage to an opponent this turn, you can pay the Spectacle. Exile top two cards of your library. You may play those cards until the end of your next turn. So, yet again, get away to filter through a deck and get what we need. And get where we need to get going. Uh, so, I mean, it, it's very basic and it's very simple, but I promise you, for the newer players, you take this to, to an FNM, you will get some wins out of this. And, of course, there's ways that you can go about building this deck in your own way. There's a million ways to, do, to build this deck. I mean, it, it's not very hard. Uh, I mean, you got in the sideboard, you can have, like, heart fire. Sacrifice a creature, deal four damage. Uh, Sakar the Bold is a, a tap ability. Uh is just tapping it deals one damage it pings the opponent for one or ping anything for one um you can add another chandra in there inescapable blaze uh deals six damage to any target it's a uh, six drops so, i mean you know there's ways to get there and there's so many different ways to run it and uh mono red is you know overlooked because it ran out of card quickly you know and and in this one you're not running uh you're not running any of the steam cans or experimental frenzies or anything like that, but you don't need to. I'm telling you, I, I tested this deck out uh, once or twice, and it actually worked out pretty pretty well, um, especially for a cheap budget deck that you want to take to F and M. If you're a newer player, I would suggest it. Um, but yet again, a uh, huge shout outs to the people that you know are on here commenting. Uh, thank you to Ponds. Um, anybody else? 
that's interested and will need deck techs that I do, you're more than welcome to feel free to leave it in the comment section. And also, please hit that subscribe button and that bell to get notified whenever I drop a new video. But for the lands, real quick, very simple. Three dwarven mines. As long as you control three or more mountains, you get to create a one-to-one -one dwarf. You know, just have an extra body on the field. And then 17 mountains. That's all you need, 20 lands. And, but there's your deck. I mean, take it to the FNM and you can have a lot of fun. I'm sorry, guys, that I was having to make this video as quickly as possible. Uh, I'm, I'm from the south, so I talk slow. So I'm trying to talk faster as I go. But, anyways, uh, hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel out. And uh, leave some comments down below on what y'all would like to see next. I do have two other deck builds. And I also got the old deck build that I actually won quite a few of the tournaments locally around here in after war the sparks drop so if y'all want to see that deck as well it's still great very 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 relevant and standard it's orzov afterlife um it's got crazy combinations in there and i built it completely different so i don't like net decking but do not take this as net decking. If y'all feel like playing this, it's perfectly fine. But y'all can put where y'all, y'all can make adjustments where y'all need. But I hope y'all have a blessed holiday. Thank you for watching. Thank you for taking the time. And do not forget, please subscribe. I need more subscribers. Come on. Y'all got to help me out here. <laughs> this is Fatal Draw. I'm out, y'all. Y'all have a good day.